Hey y'all, hope y'all doing well. Yes, as the title of this video talks about, I'm talking about beauty gurus or beauty influencers. And I just wanted to talk here on this video about, you know, for us like, the money and the sponsorships and trips and that sort of thing but right quick before I get into that I want to talk about this new elf brush that I recently purchased and then also I want to talk about elf in general I know they came out with some new um, foundation shades and I talked about that in the previous video so make sure y'all talk about well make sure y'all check out <laughs> that video um, that I post about the new elf foundations the um, new foundations that were released this fall is um, October 2017 so if you're looking at this video a little later or months down the line or a year or so afterwards um, they're not new anymore of course <laughs> but anyway yeah I just want to talk about um, you know um, beauty and um, beauty vloggers and beauty on YouTube uh, once again guys I'm outside um, the, and the reason I'm outside is because I'm still using the $18 video camera that I purchased from Walmart as many of you already know the um, video camera that I was using um, well yeah the webcam that I was using um, died on me earlier this year I have been using it on YouTube for six years almost seven years on YouTube and now um, it's my seven year anniversary actually on YouTube today I uploaded my very very first YouTube video October the 17th 2010 seven years ago but um, I just want to talk about um, beauty and that sort of thing um, you know um, I want to talk about some of like the older um, um, beauty people like um, Ju Juicy Star and um, Dulcie Candy and you know some of the newer ones a couple of new newer ones like Tati and um, Laura Lee um, and that sort of thing um, when I say um, back back in the day like um, beauty starting out like way back when Michelle Fawn did um, YouTube um, videos back way back in 2007 and that sort of thing some people started you know in 2005 2006 um, when um, YouTube first started in 2005 some some people actually started you know uploading videos um, some makeup videos way back when but anyway um, you know, and YouTube has evolved so, 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 so much. Um, and also, guys, just real quick, I want to apologize for the video quality. Once again, I'm using the $18 camera. I'm outside. I'm using natural light. It doesn't do too well in the inside. Um, so that's why I'm using, I'm outside, and I'm using this um, camera. It doesn't do too well in the inside. But, yeah, I um, just wanted... Um, to just talk about you know um, as far as um, just um, YouTube itself and you know the money aspect some people think you know that some group some YouTube gurus or beauty influencers just jump on YouTube and you know they get all these subscribers and things and get all these views and it's easy and you know they have like the best cameras the best lighting and they start out that way they don't start out that way most of the times they don't start out that way especially the older ones they've been on here since 2007 and 2008 since 2008 um like the older um people like Dulcie Candy um you know they started out well not so great of like big time um, cameras and that sort of thing so I just wanted to um, address that you know if you're thinking about starting a beauty channel in particular um, you don't have to start out with a big um, time camera um, some people say oh you know these they're like on YouTube and they get like sponsorships and they get this and sponsored they do sponsored videos and they make money here and they make money there and you know um, you know, back in, I believe it was 2008 when the, the YouTube Partner Program started. Um, when I started YouTube, I didn't even know 
about the partnership program until um, later. I um, even though the the partner program had been in effect for about two years, and only like a select people you had to put in an application for the partnership program back then in order to be considered for YouTube partner. It's different now, but um, and you know. Some people, you know, they get on YouTube for, like, the money and the fame and things like that. And, um, you know, um, it shouldn't always, you know, be that way. But, um, you know, um, you know, as far as, like, doing, um, you know, YouTube and that sort of thing, um, I'm just going to hold the camera up right quick, guys. That way y'all don't have to be looking at a brick wall. But, um, yeah, um, as far as um, YouTube and that sort of thing goes, as far as beauty um, gurus, and, you know, uh, some of them work really, really hard, and they've come a long, long ways. Um, some of them have been doing this for YouTube for 10 years. Um, some of them have been doing it for 6 years. Um, and you know, they, they've grew their audience and that sort of thing. And, um, some people don't see, like, the behind the scenes of this. They think that, um, gurus just pop up and, you know, um, do beauty reviews and that sort of, sort of thing. Um, I know Tati here on YouTube, Tatiana, um, Westbrook, you know, I know she does, um, a lot of reviews and they're like, thorough and that sort of thing and you know I know you know some other YouTubers they try to do um, reviews and you know to be accurate and not biased and truthful and that sort of thing in their reviews I like Stephanie Nicole's um, video she does very very thorough ver videos very detailed information in her videos and reviews um, once again um, Stephanie Nicole um, you can check out her um, channel I love um Dulcie Candy she started here on YouTube um in 2008 you can go check her out and actually um tomorrow I plan on purchasing her book finally that book came out two years ago and now I'm just now getting around to buying Dulcie Candy's um book the sweet life book but anyway um you know um as far as money goes, a lot of like beauty influencers and beauty um, gurus, um, you know, people think they're like rolling the dough. Like a lot of them, I would say, you know, maybe make anywhere between, I would say, on average, maybe if you go by Social Blade data, um, data from Social Blade website, um, anywhere between on average a lot of them um, make sixteen hundred to maybe like three thousand dollars a month um, there's not a lot of beauty influencers that make eight thousand to ten thousand dollars a month there are some but not a whole lot you know there's like articles or sometimes you hear in the news or articles on Yahoo you see million dollar beauty guru or million dollar YouTuber and YouTuber this and this YouTuber makes uh, annual salary of a million dollars a year this YouTuber is on the rise and sometimes you'll see on national news um, different YouTubers um, like on the Today Show or, or um, like Good Morning America and that sort of thing and on national news and you're like how in the world did they make all that money? I'm going to get on YouTube and be famous and make a lot of money too but it takes a whole lot of work and hours and sometimes a lot of like editing videos and a lot of preparation and research that you put into um your videos and um years of experience if they're like a makeup artist like jocelyn hill um so it's not easy you know they give their um their advice if they're like professional makeup artists um like jocelyn hill or lisa eldridge or, you know, some of the other, like, Pixie Woo and some of the other um, makeup artists. And um, there's other, like, YouTubers like Wayne Goss and that sort of thing. But, um, 
you know, um, as far as like um, YouTube is like concerned, you know, it they de develop the money comes slowly, and you know the the sponsorships come slowly, and it trips. There's like quite a few YouTubers over the last couple of years that've been going on um, trips, paid trips. Uh, from like makeup cosmetic companies and that sort of thing which is great um, so yeah it's great you know that they have um, grown their following to you know this big large thing <laughs> you know on YouTube and it's like wow you know they grew their audience and they did this and they did that and did this and that and this and that and this and that but yeah um yeah, um, also, um, you know, as far as, like, some people getting free stuff, you know, on YouTube, you know, um, companies sending out, um, free, you know, PR and that sort of thing, um, you know, they, in, well, in some instances, you know, I'm not going to speak about everybody, in some instances, you know, they work with, like, companies and, you know, they develop their relationship, it's about relationships and, you know, um, just developing relationships with their subscribers and other companies and, and you know, just getting that feedback and emotional aspect and that sort of thing. Um, as far as how they develop their following, um, how they've been loyal to different um, companies that they um, feature in their videos and this doesn't just apply to um, makeup gurus or um, beauty influencers this applies to like other youtubers too like I'm subscribed to a um, youtuber who do does dominoes and um, she does domino um, videos and it's great she has like over a million subscribers right now as of October 17 2007 I think I looked at her channel yeah I looked at her channel this morning um, it's trending with like the Marvel comics is Spider-Man and um, she has like 1.3 million subscribers of, as of October the 17th 2017 and it's growing so yeah I just wanted to mis mention that um, but yeah um, I know you know as far as like people think you know it's easy for us like YouTube is concerned um, and that sort of thing but yeah that's all I wanted to discuss um if y'all have any questions just leave them down below I didn't want to make this video too long I uh, hope, hope y'all have a, a great day and I will talk to y'all in the next video y'all subscribe to my channel um you hit the like button yada yada um share if you want to share this video all right have a great week guys bye